boy, are we getting ready for this kitchen segment, Jorge? <laughs> this is really, I, I love this restaurant. Uh, you, you, I've been to this restaurant. Mm -hmm. I enjoy it. Uh, it's got a great vibe to it, great food. And let's just dive right in. So good. Yes, because let's not forget, Mother's Day. It's right around the corner. So whether it's a uh, Mother's Day outing or a casual uh, day, brunch are always a perfect treat for loved ones. That's why I'm here with El Puro, Cuban restaurant, uh, whose brunch has been receiving some very high praise from the community. Executive chef Carlos Navarres is here to give us a little taste. Uh, first of all, you're new to the Charlotte area, yeah. like myself, so welcome thank to you, Charlotte. Everybody says that to me, so yeah. I gotta say it to you. That's awesome. Um, number one, and then number two, for anybody that's not been to El Puro, Kristen has been there, I've been there, but there's other people that have not. Uh, give us a vibe of what you get when you walk into El Puro. Well, El Puro has this really cool uh, 1950s Cuban vibe. Yeah. It's live music every single night. It's super awesome. Uh, it's just celebrating, celebrating life, celebrating, you know, the joy of friendship. Um, and the food is great. You know, we like to have this great, uh, you know, classic ingredients, but using a modern take on it. All right, with that said, classic ingredients, a modern take on it. Everybody likes brunch. What yeah. are we going to be making brunch-wise here? Yeah. So, so today we're going to be doing what's called torejas, which is a Spanish-style French toast. Okay. It was created in Spain and then brought to Cuba in the colonial days. Um, we're going to give it a little bit of the twist because you know we have that modern take on it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, All right, so want, what do we got here? I'll be your sous chef. Right, you tell me. So we're going to do some leche condesa, some condensed milk. All right, here we go. How much? All of it? This, yes, about Just get 14 in there. ounces. All right, 14 ounces. Get in there. What's get next? In there. And then you have evaporated milk. Evaporated milk. Another 14 ounces. Another 14 ounces of that. Here we there go. You Get go. in there. Ooh. There you go. All About right. three eggs. Three eggs. And that is what's, this, yeah. these are beet right here? Yeah, those are All right, ready to go. go. Ready to rock. And, a two, and about a quart of milk. And a quart of milk. That's yes. the big one. Yeah, that's the big one. There we go. You lift with your legs. There you go. Right, there <laughs> we go. And, here. Slow. <laughs> and one tablespoon of vanilla extract. One tablespoon of vanilla extract, which is right in Correct. here. And look at that. See, I could be a sushi. And you just give it a little stir. All right, with this guy, right? There you I go. call this the stir spinner. Technical term. And here's where we get Cuban. All right, here's where we get Cuban. <laughs> so Tell it's me. all about the Cuban bread. Okay. Oh, yes. Yeah. So Cuban bread is an eggless bread. It's with lard uh, fat, sorry, lard, uh, oil, and uh, flour. There's no in it. So what you want to do is you want to have this stale as mm -hmm. possible. As so stale, is, you said? Yes, you want this like two or three days, old bread. As nice and stale as possible. And once the mix is done, good. All right. And once the mix there is done, go. you want to dip, get it in there, and let it soak. Just let it soak in there. How exactly. long do you let it soak in there? So for? what do we do in the restaurant? We let it soak for 24 hours. Oh, wow. So once we soak it in there, we'll let it sit in the batter for 24 hours. Wow. So it's a, you know, it's a pretty day process. So you have 24 hours for it to get stale, 24 hours for the batter to get in there. And then well, luckily, this segment's four minutes, but we do have magic. <laughs> yeah. And uh, TV magic, magic gets you the 24-hour soaked bread. Correct, correct. So, <laughs> All over right, here so once you have the soaked bread. You want to add a little bit of butter. Just regular butter. We have yeah. about 90 seconds left. Yeah. Right, a little bit of butter. We get it in there. A little bit of butter. Get that crisp. Yeah. Add the torejas. Torejas right in there. Now, you want them thick like that? You don't want them thin like no, original well, French toast? No, we like them thick. We like, we like big portions. You know, this is, like I said, it's a family place, so you want to be shareable. You want a nice, huge portion. I like it. That's how Spanish-speaking people do it, you know? Hey, hey, <laughs> you don't got to tell me twice. I know this. Yeah. All right, very good. Now, look, one of the things on uh, French toast that's traditional that everybody loves is what goes on top of yes. it. So once this is nice and, and cooked through and get that nice little crispy flavoring, mm -hmm. what twist do you guys make on that end? So our end, so over here, what we like to do is we have a guava. Uh, maple syrup, which is hold, basic. Hold the chicken. Hold, you said guava? Guava. Okay. Now, now, you, now so you're talking about it. our take on this is a guava and cheese. Does, you know a guava and cheese yeah, is like, like super like popular? Yeah, like the empanada, yeah. Exactly. So we have a oh. guava and cheese. It's like a real standard, basic home dessert. You know, they, they, people just eat it on the go. Yeah. So, it's really, so we're going to have our little take on it. So it's really fun. So we get that nice and crispy, you get the guava yeah. syrup, and not a regular syrup, but a guava syrup, Correct. and then you dress it up with a little bit of fruit and a yes. little bit of cream cheese. Some almonds, so we have some sweet cream cheese, which is a 50-50 blend of just sugar and, and cream cheese, some strawberries, some blueberries, some uh, guava paste, some toasted almonds, 
some whipped cream, some powdered sugar, and then you're ready to up. rock. Yeah. You're ready to rock. I want to put your information up on the screen. Chef, listen, here's the plan, okay? Mm -hmm. This looks good. I want you to put this together. I want you to make this, and then you know I am going to unhinge my jaw and take a massive bite sure. out of this at, before the end of the show. Uh, right. So go ahead and work on that again. Uh, folks, remember, you can download our QC Kitchen app, uh, get all the information there from all of our guests, as well as reach out to El Puro Cuban Restaurant. Kristen, this looks really, really good.